Hi everybody, this is Bill K4FX and I want to give you a look at my ACOM A1000 amp I recently picked up. It's a uh, 1000 watt amplifier covering 160 through 6 meters. It uses a single tube. It's a uh, Russian GU74B. They redesigned the front panel in uh, 2016 of this amp and they really made it a lot uh, more attractive. Changed the uh, display from an LCD to an OLED which is uh, a little brighter and a little easier to read, in my opinion. Uh, the amplifier is very easy to tune. It uh, monitors just about every parameter you could think of in an amplifier: drive input power, DC input power, exhaust temperature, um, everything you could imagine. Antenna SWR. It's just uh, it covers them all. I think it's 12 different parameters that the amp covers, and um, it's. Uh, very very well protected amplifier uh, it'll work into a 3 to 1 SWR without complaints and in fact on some bands it'll go higher than that according to uh, ACOM I do like the input SWR on the tetrode with the 50 ohm input uh, it's flat from 160 to 6 meters you don't have to worry about sharing tuned inputs on 17 and 15 or 12 and 10 like you do with a lot of cathode driven amplifiers so uh, it's very nice in that respect with the solid state radios does have vacuum relays. The uh, antenna changeover system is excellent. Um, the relay in the ICOM 7300 is much louder than the relays in the amplifier. And I do enjoy working QSK. Uh, I am a CW operator from way back, but it's a uh, it's very good in that regard. It's protected, as you could imagine, from just about anything you could throw at it. As one reviewer put on eHAM, you'd have to take a hammer to damage the amplifier because you certainly won't damage it when day-to-day -day operation. And it's very easy to tune with the uh, true resistance indicator uh, on the screen. It, uh, it puts a little exclamation point in the center, and you simply adjust your load control to center a little triangle and once you have that triangle centered your load control is correct and you simply tune your uh, tune control for um, maximum output and you're good to go has a 6db attenuator which you can switch in and uh, that lowers your drive without having to touch your radio you can do your tune at lower power turn off the uh, attenuator and you're good to go kilowatt without any breaking a sweat I ran it this weekend in the BARTG RTTY contest for about 16 hours at 800 watts and she never complained. This one does have the external um, optional cooling fan which assists with the airflow up through the tube and I would recommend that if you operate the digital mode. It's a great amp. You can get them for 2800 bucks from my DX Engineering shipped to your door and uh, I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a kilowatt amplifier that covers HF and 6 meters. Thanks for watching. This is K4 Fox X-Ray. Click subscribe for more ham-related videos coming up in the future. 73.